Chef Zablo in the house. Hello everyone and welcome to Zablo's Kitchen. Today I was going to make some puff pastries with apples, but I forgot to take out the puff pastry dough. So I thought of something that uh, hopefully it works out. Today we're going to be doing some cinnamon rolls in the can with apples on top and uh, like a crumble on top. So without further ado, Let's get to cook it. So to start off with, I have about a fourth of a cup of butter here, which is four tablespoons. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt this on the stove. So, oops. Here we go. I'm going to melt this and we're going to set this off to the side while we combine everything else. All right. So we're going to make our streusel. So I just melted the butter then, uh, setting it to the side. I'm going to take a half a cup of flour into the bowl. And then I'm going to take a fourth of a cup of white sugar and a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. Okay. I'm going to go ahead Pack that in there, put that in, and then we're going to add in some cinnamon. Now, like I, like I said before, I'm not measuring the cinnamon because I love cinnamon. So, there we go. I'm going to give this a mix so it's nice and combined. Okay. Make sure there's no lumps. We're trying to make sure there's no lumps. Make sure everything's nice and incorporated together. In the meantime, I did preheat my oven to 400 degrees, according to our cinnamon rolls. And it says, preheat oven to 400 degrees, and these are going to cook for 13 to 17 minutes. Alright, so that looks good. Then next, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take our butter, and I'm going to drizzle it into the bowl and then we're going to mix this up until it looks like sand and it clumps up and this is going to be our topping our little crumble on top it smells delicious but i mean because it's cinnamon right okay and then we're going to set this off to the side Just like that, look at that. So I'm gonna set this off to the side and I'm gonna prepare our apples. Like in our previous video, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with the other apples. I'm going to core them and chop them up with the skin on. You could take off the skin, it's up to you. I'm gonna leave the skin on, but I'm just gonna really Try to dice them up pretty finely because these are going to go on top with our cinnamon rolls. Now, my plan was to make little apple danishes, I guess you could say, and I could show you what my inspiration was from because I bought these, right? I bought these apple, it was cinnamon apple danishes. And they do not taste good. They do not taste good at all. There's not enough filling. There is too much dough. And I'm like, you know what? I'm, I can make something better. And I was going to, but I forgot to take out the puff pastry dough. And I was lying in bed last night. And I was like, you know what? I'll, ta I, I'll take it out in the morning. And then I'll make, you know, I'll cook. Yeah, I woke up and forgot to take it out. And I don't know how long it's going to defrost, so I'm like, you know what, let's try to do something different. And I remember I had a can of cinnamon rolls. I'm like, well, maybe I can make something with that. So this is my little plan B, if you will. I don't think I'm going to use all these apples. I 
I think because I'm chopping them up kind of finely, I don't think I need all of them. And just like in the previous video, the apple and sweet potato, roasted sweet potatoes, it's pretty much going to be the same thing for this. Going to add in some cinnamon and some brown sugar. And that's it. You know what? Maybe I'll do, I'll do this apple and then I'll do the small one. I just want to see if this works. I've never made these before and I'm like, you know what? Let's try. Let's try. Oops. This was my inspiration for my little mini apple cinnamon danishes that I was going to make or at least danishes or whatever you want to call streusel. Um, this is them. It has an apple filling with a drizzle of I'm getting like a, an icing and like I said they don't taste that good in my opinion. There's too much dough, there's too little of the filling and it's just it's too it's too bland. So I'm like let's make better and because I forgot to take out the puff pastry dough, we're not going to do that. So I have here, I just did one apple because I think I only need one apple. Yeah. I'm going to sprinkle in some cinnamon and some brown sugar. Just a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. I'm going to go through Whoops. I'm going to go ahead and mix this together. I actually might melt some butter to actually have it coat evenly and nicely. Eh, maybe not. Oven is preheated, which is fantastic. So I'm going to set this off to the side. Just chop up that brown sugar. Alright, so I'm going to set that off to the side, and we are going to get started on our cinnamon rolls. So we have our eight cinnamon rolls here, and what we're going to do is I'm going to put them in the baking dish, okay, and I'm just going to flatten them out with my... fingers with my hands. And it's okay if they're together. It's almost kind of like a all-in-one thing. So what I'm going to do, wash my hands, is I'm going to sprinkle these with a little more cinnamon. I know. Like I said, I love cinnamon. I feel like it could never be too much. All right, and then I'm gonna take our apples, and I think, and I'm just gonna lay them on just like that. Okay. Oh yeah, one is enough. Good thing I didn't only did one. I'd have a lot more. Sorry for the train. Okay. And then we're gonna take our streusel and we're gonna put this on top as well. Remember there's flour in here so it does have to it does have to bake. Gonna just try to coat them all as best I can. All right, these are gonna go in the oven at 400 degrees for about 17 minutes. So we'll be back. But this is what they look like. Look at that. So we'll be back. 
All right, so this is what they look like. So I'm gonna let this cool slightly and then we're gonna add our little frosting. Then we'll be good to go. Try them out. All right, so this is how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to just cut this open. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and just all over. And we will see how this tastes in just a moment. And if you want to make more, you can always do a little bit of milk, powdered sugar, and then I always add vanilla, just like a dash of vanilla to really spice it up. But there we have it. That's it. That's what it looks like. So let's try this. I'm so excited to see what it, how it tastes. So this is how it looks. Doesn't that look delicious? Look at that. So what I love about this already is that the apples don't even fall off the middle. Like everything is stuck together. This smells delicious. This looks delicious. So let's try it. Mm. Oh, yep, is delicious. You get the cinnamon, and you get the the brown sugar, and you get that sweetness from the frosting. The the nice our little streusel, delicious. And like the middle, like it's still warm. It just melts in your mouth. The apples are soft. They're not they're not uh crunchy or still raw. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to be the best you can be, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye! That's it.